Hello, welcome to a nude figure study with M. Francis McCarthy video presentation. I'll be perfecting the introduction as we proceed, but um, I've been uh, talking a bit about doing these on the regular channel, uh, which has over 400 something videos, and it's all landscape paintings. And I was debating whether I wanted to post these up on that channel or uh, create a new channel. So what I've done is create a new channel and uh, I'm in completely new territory here. So uh, just bear with me. Um, if you're uh, new to seeing me paint, uh, you can uh, get to my channel just by typing M. Francis McCarthy Landscape Painter into a Google search. And uh, if you're familiar with my landscape work, you can um, hopefully find this channel because I'll be putting some links up and things and talking about it on my landscape painting videos so I am intending to uh, pretty much keep the focus and emphasis of my painting on landscape painting but I've recently uh, started doing some figurative work and I found that it's um, it's actually really helping the landscape work and uh, so I'm quite keen on doing more and um, if you've followed my landscape channel for any length of time, you'll know that I had a uh, background as an illustrator for about 13 years and never really did a lot of people as a professional illustrator. But prior to that, all I ever drew was people. All I ever really cared about drawing was people. And uh, so it's sort of interesting that I moved into landscape painting. And this is like the painting you're seeing now, one of the third maybe oh fourth uh landscape uh, excuse me <laughs> figurative paintings that i've ever done so i uh i have ideas about how to do it um but i'm basically just kind of learning as i go and uh, the method i'm using is kind of what's called a grisel which is just a grayscale um i may at some point start moving into color but for now i feel pretty content to just work with um, black and white and a gray which of course is a mixture of black and white uh, the boards i'm working on are actually prepped with a gesso that i've turned into a gray um, i transfer my drawing onto the board using a charcoal rubbed on the back of a uh, you know I make a little printout and uh, and rub that on and start with that so uh, like I say if this sort of thing interests you I have actually no idea how this is going to go I have no idea how um, YouTube will deal with this I, I have noticed there are some nude figurative studies on YouTube but um, I'll be endeavoring to make sure that uh, it's marked as adult content and I I will definitely try and get a um, a post out on my mailing list making people aware of it so uh, it's a big experiment I just I'm so used to sharing what I do I have videos done now you're gonna see this video is gonna kinda of fall apart at the end because what happened with this gal is the first one I had to do a face and uh, you can see the size of the brush I'm using here is quite large and I still I continue to use pretty large brushes for these but uh, when it got into doing the face and stuff I had to pull it off the easel and uh, and start working with some very tiny brushes so uh, you'll forgive me uh, when we get to the second part of this video you'll see that your your glimpse of what I'm going to be doing is sometimes going to be hampered but um, this is the strongest figure that I've done so far and I currently have it in a gallery for sale so we're going to see if the world wants these or likes them uh, with, so you can see now I'm basically working flat uh, on a uh, the work surface that's just below my easel and uh, like I said I apologize that some things are going to be difficult to see but I'm sharing it and uh, It'll get better. Actually, I just made myself a nice mall stick. If you don't know what a mall stick is, it's one of these sticks that you can rest against your easel so you have a place to rest your hand. And uh, I'm going to endeavor to continue work vert vertically. I'm, I'm actually really into videotaping my work. So, um, you know, you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm just picking at it. And uh, this is one thing I definitely avoid in the landscaping work. 
or landscape painting work I should say I'm not a landscaper but uh, I don't like to pick at things I and I tried not to pick at this but you know let's face it if you're gonna do a face it's got you've got to have things in the right spot and they have to look pretty good so um, and uh, like I say I ended up being quite happy with this even though I found it to be a real solid hardcore challenge and uh, not that I don't find the landscape painting to be challenging I, I do um, but uh, like I say this is kind of forging some new pathways in my brain and I think it's really helping the landscape painting to be honest I really uh, because uh, after doing one of these, uh, doing a landscape painting is just kind of like floating. It's it's really a lot easier. <laughs> uh, you get you get a figure wrong. Everyone knows it. But um, I've got a big folder full of things I want to paint. Uh, mostly women. I'm not into painting men. Uh, at least not right now. I did use straw a lot of men. I was really into superheroes when I was a kid. So I'm real familiar with anatomy, male anatomy, female anatomy. Um, but um, I, I should say also on this channel, since this is our introductory video, there won't be anything too risque. It's just the nude female figure. Um, I do tend to favor women that are a bit more on the um, full side. Um, but I have a few that are kind of skinny as well that I'll be working on. Um, we'll see. And this is going to be a sideline, so it's kind of just in addition to um, the the work I'm doing on my landscape channel. And uh, yeah, whatever. I'm just sharing. So, like I say, hopefully YouTube's going to be cool with it. I will be marking this adults only if that's something I can do. I don't know. We're we're in virgin territory. Uh, that's pretty exciting. So. Uh, like I said, I did debate putting this on the regular channel. I'm just getting very close to 700 uh, subscribers there, and that's been going for quite a while. Um, we'll see what happens with this channel. It'll be very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, uh, comments uh, uh, are encouraged underneath. Uh, uh, I don't uh, even you know criticisms if you like but uh, I mean I, I should say I don't consider myself to be an expert at figure uh, figure painting um, it's just something I'm trying my hand at and it's it's quite fun I'm really enjoying it um, so this is one of the things that's been going on in the studio and uh, I have a couple more that I've uh, done some drawings on the boards and um, will be um, painting up real soon. It won't be today though because I've got a uh, uh, a meeting today uh, with uh, my uh, rep from the uh, US but I'll be getting in some things and uh, like I said I wanted to share them and uh, I guess one of the uh, other things uh, so this Grizel method uh, I'm not an expert on this but um, the old masters would tend to do a underpainting that was in gray tones or using umber and white and black uh, and then they would do extensive glazing over the top of these and um, that is how most of the coloration was done in most of the figurative art for a lot a big chunk of art history the direct approach is taken over and has more favor now um, which is just to work directly in color over a white canvas. Um, I'm working on a, t a gray toned board which is black and white and um, I have done a, a little bit of a glaze on one another this is another one that's up in the gallery right now and um, there I just glazed it with some uh, transparent earth uh, yellow uh, trying to give it a bit of a sepia feeling. Um, I haven't actually gone into you know rendering flesh tones and things like that and I'm not too interested in that right now really what I'm interested in is just getting a sense of volume anatomy uh, lighting and I will also say that these are all you know female figures that I think are attractive that's another component of this this is all stuff I'm not really into painting uh, figures that I don't think are attractive and uh, but don't worry I have a really broad range of what I consider attractive anyway thank you for joining me today I will be back with another one of these I have to 
figure some things out but um, this is M. Francis McCarthy you can call me Mike if you're new to this channel you just did a search for this kind of painting and you found me uh, go check out my landscape painting there's lots of stuff there and uh, I'll be back real soon with another one of these meanwhile do me a favor please take good care and stay out of trouble